Hello. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me because I thought I'd try a bit of a different angle this time. So you're mainly going to get me like this um, rather than like this because then I might crash and die. You know, like they talk in the movies. Oh, hello. Yes, yes. Yeah, not doing that. Right, okay. Better get a move on because it's actually quarter to. I'm a bit delayed in setting off today because... I was trying to do one of these makeup challenge things that I've been asked to do as part of this 30 day thing and the challenge was and I tried to do it yesterday and failed the challenge was to take a selfie without mascara on then a video of you putting the mascara on and then take a selfie after with your mascara on and then put them all together in a video so I, I I did um, a selfie and then a boomerang thing and then a selfie and then I thought oh, I, need, I need to do an actual video when I looked at everyone else's it looked really rubbish so I thought I'll do it again tomorrow which is today so I thought I'll do it when I'm putting my mascara on it'll all be fine trying to record video if you put your makeup on when you're short-sighted is really difficult so I had to use my front camera <laughs> uh, my front camera of my phone as a mirror and yeah uh, it's really difficult because there's a delay oh we've got a lollipop lady today letting the children cross the road <laughs> there we go oh and that dog doesn't want to cross the road he wants to go back home right yeah so I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm there glasses off trying to put mascara on there's a delay uh, in these cars getting past ah, cheers dude thank you so there's a delay with um, <laughs> the mascara brush slightly let's move over for Mr. Boss he's bigger than me and most part by the other you so yeah, I will get this sentence out. So every time I'm using the mascara brush on my eyes, I, I'm seeing the like couple of seconds before and the mirror phone, which was fine on the top ones ish, but then on the bottom ones I started to overthink it, and then I ended up poking my eye, and then I ended up getting an eyelash in my eye, and then I ended up with my eye running everywhere and mascara going all down my face. It, it wasn't very glamorous, <laughs> but I've done. A, I've took a lot of footage, and I did my after selfie anyway. And it could actually be really funny. We'll see. I think there might be video footage of me actually fishing an eyelash off my eyeball with my fingertip. Now that's not something you see every day. That's kind of National Geographic stuff. <sighs> so yeah, we'll see. Anyway, it t literally took me three minutes to get that story out. But I think last time I looked, I think only seven people had watched my last video. So really, if I'm boring, I don't care. Because <laughs> I'm only upsetting seven people. You'll get over it. If you want more interesting stuff for me to talk about, then talk to me. Otherwise, you know, it's just me waffling about rubbish. So yeah, it's like, 
when cars try to intimidate, well, obviously the cars don't, because the cars are actually really nice, it's the drivers that aren't so nice. When they try and intimidate other road users by going really close to the back of the car, do, what do they think will happen? What happens in most cases? Do people actually think, okay, I'll speed up and I'll break the law so that you can get a bit faster? Do they move over so that they can get past the speed and stuff? Or do most of them actually just think, what a knobhead, I'm actually going to slow down a bit now and make it really difficult for you? Because that's what I tend to do. Not that I want to make it difficult for them, all the signs telling me to slow down. But just because I think they need to realise that if I was to slam all on and they went into the back of me, you know, it would be inconvenient at the very least and dangerous at the very worst. I do know someone actually, someone I, I I went on a couple of dates with a few years ago and he became a gig buddy and he was a bit of a tool. He was actually an accountant, I forgot about that bit. Anyway, he'd been in a crash in his car um, before we met and he blamed the other person because they were going at 40 miles an hour at a 60 miles an hour and so he got really close to them to kind of intimidate them along and they didn't, they didn't go faster. So then when they stopped suddenly, and he went into the back of them, it was their fault for stopping suddenly. And I know, if I did that, they would think it was my fault. Whereas actually, I'd, I kept saying to him, did you not leave your braking distance? Did you not do the, the only full brakes two second rule thing and all that and make sure you were safe? And then he just kept turning it back around on the fact that the woman should have been driving at the full speed limit. But what, you don't know what that woman's situation is. You know, she might might have just had a panic attack. You know, she might might be a very nervous driver. She might not want to do sixty. You don't have to. You know, she might have hit a deer. Make allowances, people. Don't just be a knobhead for the sake of it. Right, how are we doing for time? Eight fifty-two. Eight fifty-two. Righty ho. It's quiet now. I should have turned that off at the beginning, really. So you'll be getting a different view. You'll be getting a view of Fair Ilkley from my right-hand side. Hopefully I'll be able to park. Yesterday I parked fine. The day before that I didn't think I would because there's cars everywhere because all the kids were back at school. Ah, that was good for them. Um, and actually I could have done if I'd have risked it instead of park miles away. But this time I'm going to risk it because I risked it yesterday and I got in the car park. So let's do this. Hopefully, it won't be too vague. We shall see. We shall see if there's any big curbs for me to go up. children around. No. Good. <sighs> Time for work. Thank you for joining me on my travels. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.